So Doug, tell me about your journey to Hardin Simmons. Well, um, I started 16 years ago, came from banking environment and just bailed right in and started teaching school. It's been one of the best moves I ever made. What do you love about teaching Hardin Simmons students? Kids. I, I like the kids. I like the fact that I feel like I can bring scar tissue from the real world and bring it to the classroom and then they can learn from my mistakes. Mm. What do you love about Hardin Simmons? The faith-based aspect of it, I think it's drawn me closer to Christ as I've been had the opportunity to really feel like I have a mission. Mm. If there was one thing that you could do for the rest of your life, every single day, what would that one thing be? Ride horses. Why do you love horses so much? I don't know. I've just I always have ever since I was a little kid, and as I've as I've gotten older, um, I can't imagine somebody not believing in God when they see a horse run. Mm -hmm. What is it about a horse that makes you excited, gets you pumped, makes you want to ride? I think the fact that that a man can sit on a 1,200-pound animal and can do things with them as a team. You can't be verbal dealing with them. It's all done with your legs or with your hands. So it's a it's a interesting communication uh, that works. Have a favorite horse? Yes. His name was Stick, okay. and, like Stick Horse. And uh, I had him for 21 years, and we we had to put him down here a few years ago. So, but he was he didn't owe me anything. He was an outstanding horse. He was actually bred at Angelo State, and uh, so I loved having him. He's buried behind my arena right now.